Hockey keeper Walter Schumacher estimates there are anywhere between 50 to 75,000 bees in this paneling here. I was literally almost thinking of just giving up. I thought my life was, was going to be ended right here. Richard Garcia is back in the spot where he thought he was going to take his last breath. <sighs> I thought I was going to die because I knew I had been already attacked by so many bees. He was mowing the lawn at his aunt's home Thursday when a large swarm of honeybees attacked. I was covered with bees all on the top of my head, all in my face. Uh, they were trying to go into my mouth. Beekeeper Walter Schumacher. Uh, it's just honey. Says it's possible the vibration from Garcia's lawnmower was enough to set the swarm off. Certain vibrations uh, that set off certain noises that represent to them certain behaviors. Before the stinging started, the bees were bumping Garcia. Schumacher says that's a sign the swarm is about to start. When it did, the bees marked Garcia with a pheromone, signaling an attack. I just remember rolling over on my back. I could still feel them hitting me all over my face. Something made me get up, and I was able to go across the street to the neighbors. Garcia believes it was his parents that helped him up. My parents are my angels. Saturday, he wore a T-shirt with their names. I am alive, and I know that they're watching over me, and that way they could watch over me today as I'm here, facing my fear here as they remove the bees. Garcia still can't sleep without the day haunting him. The buzzing in my ears or feeling something crawling on my neck and I would wake up. He says that's why he felt it was all the more important to be here. As beekeepers with the American Honey Bee Protection Agency transplant the up to 75,000 beehive. I want to face my fear so that way I can sleep comfortable and know that they're, they're, not, they're, they're gone. And Garcia was stung about 300 times. Thankfully, he's doing okay considering the circumstances. Live in San Marcos, I'm Shannon Ryan, Fox 7 Austin News.